AMD's new APU will destroy the mid-range CPU market. But before I get to that, AMD could buy Intel. 3D Vcash could be coming to Threadripper in the 9950X3D. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, I've covered Intel's massive fall since they cut a whopping 15,000 jobs a few months ago. Since then, they've had one issue after another. But last month, multiple reports came out claiming Qualcomm was looking to buy Intel. I more or less thought this was something that wouldn't actually happen, but it's now been reported that US lawmakers are starting to get in on the discussion, meaning this is truly looking like a real thing that could actually happen. As you can see right down here, it says Qualcomm has been circling Intel for a couple of months now, taking the headlines that it was waiting until after the US elections to make a move. Not only that, but US policymakers are reportedly fine with the merger. Now, some people are talking a buyout, some people are talking a merger, but regardless, it could actually happen. And you can also see that from that same article, it says it also teases that a deal with native companies, including AMD, isn't off the books, making 2024 quite possibly the wildest year ever. I mean, less than 10 years ago, The Economist was predicting that AMD would go bankrupt by 2020. And if you look back, that really isn't a wild prediction. I mean, in 2015, Intel effectively had a monopoly. If their Zen architecture didn't deliver, the company would have almost certainly gone belly up. But as we know, Zen was a hit, and AMD came back with a vengeance. But no one would have ever guessed that AMD could one day own or potentially merge with Intel to keep it from completely going belly up. But before I get to that, if you love hearing all the latest PC hardware news before anyone else, why haven't you subscribed to GamerMelt? Don't worry, you can rectify that right now by hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you can make sure that you keep up with all the latest PC hardware news. And next up for today, it looks like AMD's Ryzen 9000 X3D chips may not be the only processors to get 3D vCache. Well, technically Epic has gotten 3D vCache as well, but when we're talking more of the somewhat consumer level chips because as you can see right here this is a pretty wild one and it's even more wild that it took so long to catch this but a zeus's wrx90 motherboard actually has an option to disable 3d vcache per stack the problem is that the wrx90 board is only made for Threadripper. As you can see right down here, it says 3D vCache, override of X3D technology. And this is specifically in a manual for this board. So it's not like they're talking about Ryzen or Epic or anything like that. This is specifically made for Threadripper. Now, some of you may be wondering why in the world would Threadripper need 3D vCache? A lot of people seem to think that it's only really useful for gaming and in a lot of scenarios, that's true, at least for more consumer chips, that's definitely the only really big benefit that you can get from it. But like I said just a minute ago, there's already Epic processors that have 3D vCache. So obviously there are quite a bit of other workloads that can benefit from it. Either way, at least according to this, it looks like it may in fact be coming potentially to their next gen 9000 series Threadripper. That or it was just a mistake. And next up, it looks like Gigabyte may have accidentally let the cat out of the bag. As you can see right here, this is an announcement from the company for their X3D Turbo Mode. And within it, you can actually see that they pretty much confirm AMD's Ryzen 9000 series 16 core X3D processors. Now it says, processors plural like there's going to be a bunch of 9000 x3d 16 cores but i'm assuming this is referencing the 9950 x3d that is leaked to be coming early next year potentially announced in january but the news actually doesn't stop there because as you can see right here at least according to gigabytes the 9800 x3d gets a whopping five percent performance improvement but for the 16 core 9000 X3D, we're looking at up to 18%. And this is specifically for gamers. Now, I will say that we've actually heard a little bit about turbo mode for X3D processors before, and it didn't really look like the 
performance really panned out from that. But the thing is that even if we don't expect as much performance as what we're seeing here, this is like a very small one off or something like that. Given the fact that the 16 core processor can get a bigger boost, whether it's that high or not, you know, that could maybe be 10% or even 5%, the 9800X3D clearly doesn't get as much, which tells me that there's actually a chance that the 16 core X3D processor could actually beat the 8 core one. I mean, if we look at performance right here, you can see that the 7950X3D is neck and neck with the 7800X3D. So really much of any percentage performance boost for this over the 9800X3D would make the 9950X3D the fastest gaming chip. And lastly for today, if you saw my recent video, you know that Moore's Law is Dead actually shared a render of the upcoming Ryzen Max APUs. Remember, these bad boys are the ones that are set to come with 16 Zen 5 CPU cores and up to 40 integrated GPU CUs, making, like I've said for quite a while, this one monster of an APU. But in that same video, I really just kind of wanted to cover the actual render itself. He actually gives us something even more astounding because he claims that the flagship, we're talking, this is the most powerful one with those 16 cores and 40 CU monster, at least trades blows with the laptop RTX 4070, meaning not just the 4060, 4050, which is still also massively impressive, but we're talking it at least trades blows, if this is right, with their 4070, meaning this bad boy could not only decimate the lower end GPU market, but it could even destroy the mid-range market as well. And yet we're talking about an APU, meaning an integrated GPU. I really think this is massive. It obviously depends on the pricing and all of that, but at the same time, this looks set to completely shake up the market. So while that does it for today, what do you think about an APU potentially crushing a mid-range GPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, have a great day.